everyone, Alyssa the Lash Babe here, here with another get ready with me tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I am loving this green, warm, fall look. I am loving this smoky eye. I used several different eye products for this. I used one of our new addiction palettes. I used a sports cream eyeshadow. I used one of our mineral pigments. I just love putting all these different products together. I had a blast doing this look for you guys and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So yeah, stay tuned and if you love it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys, bye. As always, we're gonna start off with our Mineral Eye Primer. I love this stuff so much. It really does help that eyeshadow stay on so long. It just really helps the colors pop too. Let it dry all the way so that this next step when we're putting the tape on, otherwise if it's not dry, the tape obviously won't stick very well. So make sure it's dry. We're going in with our Splurge Cream Eyeshadow. This is the shade Assertive. It's a dark, deep, shimmery green. Oh, I love this color so much. It is such a beautiful color. I've used this before in one other tutorial, I believe, but I'm gonna mix it with some different warmy colors this time. Warmy, is that even a word? You know what I mean. I'm applying this with our Splurge, I'm sorry, I'm applying this with our Cream Shadow Brush. Next, we're using our Mineral Eye Pigment. This is in the shade Provoked. And I'm just putting that very messily in the crease and a little bit above the crease, just kind of as a transition color. And I know, know I normally do the transition color first, but because we were using a, a cream eyeshadow, you never wanna put cream on top of powder. So I did the cream shadow first, and then we'll go in with the powders. We're going in with Addiction Palette 4, the shade Air Get Right Here. We're gonna put that right in the crease just to add a little bit more depth to these colors. We just kinda want that gradient effect going into the green. And I'm using our crease brush for this. Just taking that big fluffy brush and just blending that out real quick. Back in with that splurge, by putting those, those matte colors in the crease and stuff, it kind of made that green not as bright as I wanted it to, so I'm just kind of going over that just right there, just from the inner corner into about the center of my eyelid, just to kind of brighten that green up a little bit more. Take that tape off, and you can see that perfect line we created. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna put some of this Glorious Primer on. This really helps fill in those pores and fine lines and wrinkles, and just creates a flawless base for applying your makeup. As always, we're going in with a Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. Today I mixed two different shades, Satin and Cashmere. The Satin is just, a, it's a little bit too light for me, but Cashmere's not, I'm not quite dark enough for that either, so I just mix the two. And I'm applying that with our Liquid Foundation Brush. This is our Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. I'm using the shade Taffeta. You always wanna go one to two shades lighter with your concealer, especially if you are going to be using it to brighten some areas up and use it to highlight. If you're just gonna use it to cover blemishes, you can use the same shade as your foundation. Then I'm gonna blend that out with the larger of our two blending beds that we have. I couldn't find the smaller one, so I'm using the bigger one. I like the smaller one better because it's just easier to use in those areas, but the big one does the same thing. Beachfront Bronzer, I'm using the shade Malibu. I'm using the matte side, I meant to show that. There's a matte and a shimmer side. I'm using the matte side of it to contour right now. This is 
is our mineral pressed blusher in the shade Seductive. This is my go-to ride or die shade for fall. I love it so much. Back to Addiction Palette 4, I'm going to use Arrogant and Brave and kind of mix the two um, to do my brows. The other day I ran out of our eye of our brow liner and it does this clicking noise when you reach the end of it and I hit it and I didn't have another one. I freaked. I was like, how am I going to do my brows? So I was looking around and I tried out some eyeshadow and I freaking loved it. And now I honestly don't even know that I will rebuy the brow liner because I just love this so much. I love how it turned out. I love the way it looks. I think I'm just going to continue doing it this way. If you guys want, I'll do another updated brow tutorial and go more in depth than I am here obviously and go more in depth in it for you guys. Just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that or not. There's one brow done, then I'm really going to speed through this next one because you saw one. The other one I do it the exact same and I'm trying to cut down time in this video. So. Back in with palette four, we're using that Arrogant shade again. I love this shade so much. And I'm gonna use the liner side of our liner shader brush to line our lower lash line. And I'm going almost to the all the way into the inner corner, not right into it, but almost all the way over. And I'm going back in with our mineral eye pigment in Provoked, the one we kind of use is that transition shade. And I'm using the shader side of that same lighter shader brush now. And I'm just using that to buff that lower lash line out and smoke it out. And the reason you're not going to see me do the other side much is because I had done it and realized my camera wasn't filming. So here we go. But you get the idea. Same thing on both eyes. This is our Precision Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Prosperous. It's a beautiful green. It matches the Splurge Cream eyeshadow we used almost perfectly. So I'm popping that right there in my lower waterline. I love it with this look. 3D Fiber Lashes Plus. I am going to skip through most of this because you know what? You guys have seen me do this a bazillion times. I have a tutorial for it. I'll link the tutorial below for you. You can watch it. It'll be down in the description bar for you. Now we are going in with lips. This is our Precision Pencil Lip Liner in the shade Prudent. It's one of our new shades and you guys saw me wipe my lips off. With these lip liners you always want to make sure that you have nothing on your lips when you go in with this. Or it won't go on and smoothly, it just won't stick as well. Just make sure that your, your lips are totally bare when you use these lip liners. I'm putting our Opulence lipstick in the shade Well To Do on top of that lip liner. Just to lighten it up a little bit and give it a little bit more shine. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I loved putting this look together for you guys. I love this fall smoky green brown eye. I love it so much. If you love it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.